Hello, this is Mr. Chopla, and this is a, a maths cast on lowest common multiple exam questions. So here's our first example. Example one. Bus A leaves the bus station every eight minutes. Bus B leaves the bus station every 12 minutes. And the two buses leave the station together at 9 a.m. The question's asking us, when is the next time the two buses leave the bus station together? So we start by writing two lists, one list for bus A and another list for bus B. And the question tells us that both buses leave the station together at 9 a.m. So we write down 9 a.m. for both buses. So we do bus A first. Bus A leaves every eight minutes. So if it left at 9 a.m., the next bus to leave will be at 9.08. And then it basically goes up in eights. So 9.08, the next one will be at 9.16. The next one will be at 9.24. And then at 9.32. But we can stop there for now. Uh, we can have a look at bus B. Uh, bus B also leaves the bus station for the first time at 9 a.m. and leaves every 12 minutes. So the next bus will leave at 9.12 a.m. After that, it will leave again at 9.24 and then at 9.36. So we compare the two lists, and we see the time at which they both leave together for the second time. So they both left at 9 a.m., and then they leave again together at 9.24. So our answer is both buses leave the station together at 9.24 a.m. And now we'll have a look at another example. Uh, Miss Connor is making party bags for her 25th birthday. Um, in, this, uh, in her party bag, she's putting whistles and balloons. And the question tells us that whistles come in packs of four and balloons come in packs of five. And the question asks, what is the least amount of packs of whistles and balloons Miss Connor must buy so there are no items left over? So again, we make two lists, one for whistles and one for balloons. Now, we know that whistles come in packs of four, so if she were to buy one pack, she would have four whistles. If she were to buy two packs, she'd have eight. So we go up in multiples of four, so four, eight, 12, 16, 20. We can stop there for a moment and do balloons. Balloons come in packs of five, so if she buys one pack, she'll have five balloons. Two packs, she'll have 10 balloons, 15 and 20. So we can see that if she wants to have the same number of whistles and balloons, she would have to have 20 party bags. Now for 20 whistles, since whistles come in packs of four, she would have to have five packs of whistles. And for balloons, if she were to buy 20, balloons come in packs of five, so she would need four packs of whistles, of balloons. And here's a, a third example. Uh, this is about go-karts. We've got go-kart A does a lap in 45 seconds. We've got go-kart B does a lap in 60 seconds. The question asks us, both go-karts start at the same time. After how many seconds will they both cross the start line together? So again, we make two lists. One for go-kart A. One for go-kart B. Now, both go-karts start the race at the same time. So they both start at zero seconds. As the question says, go-kart A does a lap in 45 seconds. So it will go around the lap, it will take it 45 seconds, so it will cross the start line again 45 seconds later. And then it will go around again, 
and cross again at 90 seconds because we're adding 45 seconds on each time. And then again at 135 seconds. And then again at 180 seconds. Whereas go-kart A starts at the same time at zero seconds. As the question says, it takes 60 seconds for the go-kart for go-kart B to go around. So it will cross the finish line again at 60 seconds. Then again at 120 seconds. And then again at 180 seconds. And as you can see in the question, both go-karts will cross the finish line together at 180 seconds. Okay, and here are three practice questions for you to try. Um, pause the video and before the, uh, before the answers are revealed. Now, here are the answers. Okay, and good luck with your revision. 